today let me speak about the issue of lookout notice on whom and why when and where it is issued so lookout notice is uh, issued on the absconding criminals primarily uh, it to trace out to trace them out i know we have heard uh, so and so criminal was caught you know during uh, crossing the border or in the airport or in some uh, you know hideout so this is issued primarily the issue of uh, this lookout notice is to trace the absconding criminals and uh, the second uh, instance when the lookout notice is issued is uh, to control the movement of uh, a suspected uh, a criminal or accused or the criminal who is out on bail so to control his movement when a you know accused person obtains a bail there is possibility of he fleeing from the country so therefore the lookout notice can be issued in order to prevent him from going abroad and uh, you know taking shelter in some other country and thereby cause no obstruction delay uh, to the fair trial so these are the two ins- you know instances where the lookout notice is issued and uh, who issues uh, the lookout notice ministry of home affairs will issue the will authorize the issue of uh, lookout notice and uh, the specified format has to be followed and the central bureau of investigation in the central level and enforcement agency in the state level can issue the lookout notices and uh, lookout notices when issued it must follow certain guidelines because you know the lookout notice uh, casts a serious hurdle in the freedom of movement of a person be it accused or a criminal it imposes restriction which is against the constitution where he is controlled his movements are controlled his freedom to move is controlled so there has to be you know sufficient uh, caution research and uh, there has to be a reason mandatory reason to issue the court notice the court notice cannot be issued just like that on any person so it has to pass through the uh, you know ministry of home affairs without which it, it will not be possible to issue the lookout notice and in case if a lookout notice is issued to a person uh, who is a member of a civil society and who has been accused and uh, if he has been unnecessarily for political reasons if a lookout notice is issued on him what can he do uh, he can approach uh, any of the high court for a remedy or he can approach uh, human rights commission for a remedy and claim compensation in case if uh, his application in the high court or in the human rights uh, commission is allowed and if it is proved that the lookout notice thus issued was in contrary to the law and curtailed the rights of uh, the applicant then he is entitled to time compensation from the government.